Mike and Mike, ESPN Radio, ESPN2, Peter Rosenberg, Booger, McFarland, Jay Williams. Uh, it's time for Straight Talk, brought to you by Straight Talk Wireless. Best phones, best networks, half the cause. Jay, you're a Duke guy. Holler at your boy. Another Duke guy <laughs> said something interesting this weekend. Here's my guy, too. I love him, Kyrie Irving. So he's talking about, basically, he's claiming to be a flat earther. That was mm-hmm. the first time. My brother was talking about this all weekend because he finds it hilarious. I had not seen it till right then. I'll tell you, you know him better than I do. To me, the look in his eyes is one of slight laughing and trolling, making a little story over All-Star Weekend. What's your thought, Jay? First off, I've known Kyrie for a long time. He's from Jersey. He's very socially conscious, okay? Mm, yes, oh, very, very much so. He's a very smart individual. And, and the beautiful thing about what he said is that it, that comment has garnered headlines across the country, and he's making a mockery of fake news. Like, he's talking about where we're at with our election and all this stuff happening via Facebook. And, and that's the narrative that he's pushing. Now, I have so many people over, over game day, we had, oh, you do get it. You guys are, the world is flat. Yeah. And, but the thing is, that, like, that's, it, it shows you how much we're perpetuated by one person saying a comment that all of a sudden now, Booger is headlines everywhere. Well, it kind of also showed you how we needed something else this weekend besides KD and Westbrook. <laughs> like we were looking for something. Something, please. Can we? Is is there a beeline to this to this headline? Because that's all everyone was talking about. Now, does he really think that the Earth is flat? Maybe he does. Maybe he's a part of that that group that's a contrarian group. I know a lot of people that whatever you tell them, they're going to find the contrary to it. Yep. How can I you believe that? it? We yeah. don't know. Yeah. It's like, well, well, I know, but what about satellite images? Is the satellite real? real? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> we might as well, I mean, it's just a funny yeah, right. If he was serious, there's so much to talk about in the world right now. I think you're right. I think he's making a point and just showing that things can be very silly in the news cycle. But, like, there's so many things to talk about right now. Right. The idea that someone, if like, any kids out there right now, if you're looking to get very conscious at this moment, this isn't the time to go down the YouTube uh, path of searching up all the flat earth stuff. There's a lot of issues to dive into right now. Flat earth is just what I've never understood. Like, well, And also, furthermore, let's suppose, even though you're not right, that you are. So, <laughs> what does that do for you? It doesn't shorten your flight. If you're trying to go to Paris, it's taking just as long. You can't walk there. Don't I, I kind of like, I, I like it because he makes people question authority. Like, just because somebody's opinion is bounded in leather book doesn't make it right. Don't you feel right? us moving right now, though? Don't I what? Don't you feel us moving? I know, exactly. I can feel this right now. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think. <laughs> I can't take your book. I, I think I you're can't. right. I think, I think he was just messing around. Of uh, course. He's, he's a funny dude. And you're right. He is a conscious dude. So I, I mean, the whole, the whole podcast with Richard Jefferson and Channing Fry. I mean, they were talking about aliens. They were talking about abduction. Yeah. They were talking about the CIA's conspiracy to, to kill Bob Marley. I mean, they were way over the map you know, with that whole thing. You anyway. know why I really like Kyrie Irving? Because when I first met him, I ran into him when he was a, he had just won Rookie of the Year. And I saw him at, like, the MTV building. He, we were doing something in the same building. And he came up to me and was like, you're the Duke Sucks guy. 